Previously on the Sims 2 Pleasant View series, Daniel and Marisu attempt to further the kindle their marriage with a second honeymoon in Takemisu Village. Their first date night together was blissfully romantic. However, once it was time to call it a day, Daniel unexpectedly blurts out, I want to have another baby with you. Ever since those words were uttered from Daniel's mouth, Mary Sue separated herself from Daniel and she doesn't even want to look at him, she doesn't even want to touch him. She feels completely miserable right now. And Daniel has been kicking himself mentally, thinking, oh my god, why did I say that? Why? Of course she doesn't want to get pregnant, of course she doesn't want to have a baby. I bet she hates him right now. What do I do? How do I how do I even fix this? And now they're just here, not even looking at each other, not even talking. And Daniel feels so guilty. Did he mean that? Did he does he really want another baby? No, he does not. So he doesn't understand why he said that. Maybe it was just he at the heat of the moment. He's not sure. But he knows for sure that um that Mary Sue will have never been on board with this. Heck, he, he, he's not even sure he would have been on board with that, so... He doesn't know how to fix this at all. So Mary Sue stands up, not even looking at him. And she's going to put on her pajamas because she feels a little underdressed. And rightfully so, because she was on her underwear. And Daniel's looking at her. Honestly, again, kicking himself mentally, saying, Oh my god, I thought I was gonna get lucky. I, I We had such a wonderful day. We had such a wonderful date. Our The night was incredible. And I ruined this. So Mary Sue is just going to, you know, going to lounge in here. Because she doesn't really... She's thinking about him, but she's not even want, she doesn't want to look at him. And Daniel's gonna stand up and he's gonna be over here trying to get her attention. And Mary Sue is draining the words because, oh my god, please just leave me alone, Daniel. She's thinking she wants to formulate those words out, but she doesn't want to because she doesn't want to entertain Daniel at the moment. But Daniel doesn't give up. At all. So he's gonna stand over here and he's saying, Mary Sue, talk to me. Please, I can explain. And Mary Sue stands up, but she doesn't look at him. She, she continues to ignore him and Daniel is like, oh god, did I really, did I really just ruin things already? We were doing so well. I cannot believe this. So he follows her. And he says to her back, but um, that's the best he can do at the moment. Please, you know I hate it when you give me the cold shoulder. I thought we were supposed to be honest with each other. Please talk to me. And after a long 10 seconds, Mary Sue finally speaks up. I can't believe you actually hate me, Daniel. And that shocks Daniel. What? What are you talking about, Mary Sue? And then, finally, Mary Sue turns around. I'm doing so well with my career, and you want to ruin that for me, Daniel? And then Daniel argues with her, and he says, I do, I do not. Mary Sue, are you even listening to yourself? You're accusing me of sabotage. What is wrong with you? I don't find it hard to believe, actually. First, you have an affair the moment I decide to work harder. Hell, you even admit that was the reason why you cheated on me. And your indiscretion almost ruined my chances to run for office. And now, you want me to get pregnant and stop me from working for a long period of time? What this is telling me, Daniel, is that you don't want me to be successful. The only one who is allowed to be successful is you. You are a coach, and yet you earn more money than I do. Let me have something for myself at least once. And her words angered Daniel. And he scoffs at her. <laughs> so that's it, huh? 
and just a mediocre evil coach who wants you to be submissive at all times and is only allowed to please me. Mary Sue merely shrugs at him. I mean, you're saying it, not me. So I'm assuming you're right. Fine then. I was going to apologize. But since you're acting like a bitch, I don't think I have to. And then Mary Sue is like, where do you think you're going? This is my bed now. I'm not sharing this bed. Go somewhere else. And then you're like, what? what? Are you serious? You seriously don't want to touch me? And then Mary Sue says, I don't want you to touch me. Good night, Daniel. And here is Daniel going to nap instead because Mary, Mary Sue, his wife, decided to kick him out. Good lord. I'm going to let them cool down for just a little bit. And I'll see you in the morning, I guess. Breakfast this morning was really, really awkward. Even though Mary Sue ordered room service for everyone, Mary Sue refused to eat with him. Daniel refused to eat with her. He wanted to eat somewhere else. And like they pretty much took turns eating. And look at this. This is so very awkward. These two need to apologize as soon as they possibly can. But they just don't want to talk to each other. Because they say some things that were pretty hurtful. I get it, but oh god. So Mary Sue already ate her pancakes and now she's going to change into her every day. Very good, very nice. And Daniel's still eating because he had to wait for Mary Sue to finish her pancakes first. Because she just didn't want to talk to her. She didn't want to even look at her. So bad what she's doing she wants to take a shower that's good that's fine so he's this is gonna be something that's just going to happen i can feel how awkward this is i hate this so what does he want to do he wants to take a bath but she's in the bath so you may have to wait your turn so she's gonna be right here he's also going to dress into his every day i forgot that he was in his Formal, but that's okay. It happens. And Mary Sue is just going to sit. Sure. She's going to sit right here. And Daniel wanted to watch some TV, but Mary Sue is in the same couch. So he may have to deal with this because there's absolutely no other way to do so. They're just going to stand right beside the other. And Mary Sue is telling him, um, hello, I want to sit here on my own. Please do not turn on the TV. But Daniel ignores her. He tells her, I can do what I need to do, so just lay off me, Mary Sue. And they stay in here in silence, watching TV, no big deal. It gets really quiet pretty soon. And because someone has to break the silence, the cold shoulder, the the coldness of the entire situation, guess who is the one to speak out first? Da she's saying, Daniel, I just I just wanna say I'm sorry. And Daniel's so confused. Wh wh what do you mean you're sorry? And she says, I'm sorry for exploding at you. I'm sorry for accusing you of ruining my career. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not doing that. I don't understand why I say those things, but I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it. And then Daniel finally has a chance to apologize for last night. He says, and I'm sorry for saying that I want to have another baby with you. I didn't, I mean this. I don't want to have another baby. I don't want to go through the whole trial of watching another child grow up. We have two wonderful daughters. We have enough children. I also don't want to put my career on hold, so I understand how you feel. Last night was nothing more than a hidden moment, and I'm really sorry. And Mary Sue is like, it's okay, Daniel. It's okay. You don't 
I'm the one who should be sorry for this. You don't have, you didn't have to apologize, but I accept it. I, I accept your apology. And Daniel also says, um, also, um, I'm sorry for calling you a bitch. And Mary says, like, <laughs> please, it's okay. We can get through this. We work so hard. We work so hard to get our marriage back in track. And I don't want to ruin this. And then I was like, yes, I'm so glad we're finally on the same page. So, is it all forgiven? And Mary Sue says, it's all forgiven. And yay, finally. Finally, I was getting tired of this. <laughs> so, what do I want to do? I do want to do something. They only have one day left for vacation, so they have to do something in the meantime. So, I know she wants to go on another tour. Sure, let's just do that right now. I don't see why not. So, is the, is a tour guy in here somewhere? Is a tour guy in here somewhere? Yes, of course. So, let's see. Hey, tour guy. Tour guy, tour guy. Tour guy, what does he want? Living to arms. Oh, she wanted to live into his arms, but he's busy. Oh my god, typical. So, what do I want to do? They want to go maybe a riverboat? I don't sure. And Daniel's just gonna be cleaning the dishes. Sure. And also clean this up. I don't see why not because no one else is going to eat this. So, might as well. So, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, let's go to a riverboat. Glide down the river and experience nature firsthand on this riverboat tour. It will cost 200 simoleons per person. Yikes. Do you want to go in the store? And the answer is yes. Let's go. Daniel and Mary Sue together. 400. Oh my god. That is expensive. Thanks for staying on our day. 553 simoleons have been added to your bill. Okay, sure. And actually, I'll. S yeah. I'll see you in just a little bit after they return from the tour. You discover a map to a secret Far East location. <gasps> oh, incredible. So maybe this means we can meet the ninja. I sure hope so. I sure hope we can do so. So, what is she so happy about? Oh, because she went on a tour. Excellent. Now what? What is he doing? Chest found. Why is he doing that? I don't understand why is why does he keep doing that? But um there seems they're happy, nothing grown happened. Not like last time. What does she wanna do? She wants to flirt with Daniel in the middle of the street. That's okay. So maybe just holding hands. I don't see why not. Let's hold hands for a little bit. And then maybe we can try going to that secret location. I heard because the tour guide told us that maybe a ninja is there. So let's go to the, the secret location with Daniel. Sure. The pagoda in the shadows. Nestled in a nestled in a quiet valley, this graceful structure suits serenity. Yet you feel an inexplicable hurry to reach it. It's almost as if it were your destiny. Ooh. Let's go then. I'll see you in just a little bit. We are here. The pagoda in the shadows. You have traveled a long road, but seeing is not knowing. Oh. So let me take a look at this place. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. So what do we have to do? Is this where we meet the ninja? Or... I really have no idea what to do. So there, I guess they're just going to... What's this? Yeah, what is this? What is all of this? I want to know and I'm pretty sure Mary Sue and Daniel want to know. <gasps> there he is. Oh no, it's not the ninja. It's a wise old man. Oh my god. Hey, stop it. There we go. Now we can talk to this guy. Wh what do we do? Greet him. Sure, Mary Sue will be the one to greet him. I don't see why not. <laughs> Hello? Hmm. Hmm. Why does he keep doing that? 
Mm. Greet. What is going on? Hmm. I don't understand. So maybe we should just drink tea as that was going on. Humility is the first step. <gasps> oh. He's moving. So I guess we have to drink tea? Is that what's going on? <gasps> I guess we ha we do. Excellent. I, I want to take a good picture of this. Oh my god. This is excellent. Wow. Whoops. There we go. They're just drinking tea and I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. Is he gonna tell me something? Oh. It, what is he gonna say? Oh, he's standing up. He's standing up. What does it mean? What does it all mean? Are you gonna... Oh god. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, we can do stuff with him. But, um... I don't understand. Smart investing, I, I don't think that matters. But we got some money, but... Uh, what do we do? I don't... We can flirt with him. Well, not really. We can talk with him, I guess. A little chat. Sure. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just pause the game. Maybe I'm doing something wrong? So according to this, I just need to build a relationship with this man and just wait. I guess? This is so weird. Let me... Let me see. Let me see. Okay. But how long? Like, how long do I have to keep talking to him? But he's not interested in anything that I have to say, right? She needs to go to the bathroom. And she needs to sleep. How are you, Daniel? He's fine. Oh, God, how long do I have to? He doesn't seem to like us. One single bit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think some I don't think anything is going on, so let's see. Keep chatting. I don't see why not. Oh You seem to possess the charm and panaches and decided to bear the legend. <gasps> oh god. He's telling us a story. He's telling us a legend. Oh wow. What is Daniel doing? Hey, be respectful and be over here. But wait, I want to see the story. Okay. Oh my god. Something. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. A dragon. The... Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Too bad for the, for the rain, but wow. And here's Daniel listening to the story too. Wow. Listen to Dragon Legend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god. I wonder how long do I have to stay here. Whoops. I wonder how long do I have to stay in here. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. He finished. Now what? The secret is yours. You said well. <laughs> Excellent. So, oh, it's 7.05. Hmm. I wonder if I have enough time to, you know, go to the market. You know what? Let's just go to the market. I don't see why not. But first, I need to do this. All seems a lot. There we go. Is she gonna be okay now? There we go. So, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go back on in time. Maybe. I need to go to the... I need to go to the hotel first. And then, we'll, we'll be back on time. And then, we'll be able to go to the market. Because that's not something exciting. Or, that sounds very exciting, right? So, um... Oh, <gasps> what happened? Oh... He got- ah! <laughs> Oh my god.
god, poor Daniel. But anyway, um, we're gonna go back to to the to the hotel and then we'll go to the market. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, okay. Yes, we need to go back because oh my goodness, he needs a bath. Oh, he's fine now. But anyway, I'll see you in just a little bit. And here we are. <gasps> what was that? But here we are. We're in the market now. Oh my, oh, there it is. There's the ninja. There's the ninja. <gasps> Guys, I was gonna say something. I was gonna speak about the market. Let me, let me just real quick look at the market real quick. There's a dining area. There is a um, clothing area, souvenirs, and what's upstairs? A bathroom. So anyway, okay, good. But I'm more interested on the freaking ninja. I, Oh my god, Can is it possible to talk to him? Bear watch, be congratulated, I don't care. Let me talk to the ninja now, if I can. Can I talk to the ninja? Yes, learn to teleport. <gasps> okay, this is the moment I've been waiting for, hopefully. Hopefully. Hey ninja, please. Mary Sue wants to speak to you. Mary Sue wants to speak to you. <gasps> there we go, okay. Okay. Ninja! Man! Okay! Hey, Ninja! We're speaking to you. We want to learn how to teleport. Please stay put. Can you please stay put? Okay. Okay. Let's see. First, you must tell me this. In the face of adversity, which is more important? Courage or wisdom? Oh my god. I suppose... Wisdom? A wise answer, a strong mind necessary to guide a strong heart. You are most worthy. <gasps> okay. So, what does this mean? Oh, wow. <gasps> oh my god, this is so cool. You can learn the sacred technique of teleportation. Wow. Seriously, can we do that? Okay, how do I get to do that? No, do not do yoga. Ah, what do I do? Uh, pose. Hmm, entertain. No. Jump rope. No. I guess it'll appear soon. I don't want to worry so much about it. What does she want to do now? Dance together. Oh, where is Daniel? Oh, there he is. Are any of them hungry? Hmm. I guess we can eat something. I don't see why not. We can. She's gonna order steamed rice bowl. And he already ordered something. What did he order? Wait, hold on. What did you order, Daniel? I hope something good and not basic. I don't think I know what it is. Oh, okay. Anyway. Okay, they're just gonna eat together for a little bit. I guess. I guess so. Eat, eat, eat. Rice bowl. I don't know. I think it's a tiramisu. Maybe because Daniel saw her eating that last time and he wanted to experiment for a little bit, which is good. Alright then. So, what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, she wants jewelry and she wants souvenir. So, let's see. Where can we get jewelry? Maybe buy some jewelry right here? Sure. Are you almost done? That's what I want to know. She almost done eating. And Daniel can go ahead and buy... I don't know. Let, just go over here. And st grooming. No. And be congratulated. I don't care. So, come on. Let's buy jewelry together. Okay, Marisu? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so what do I want her to have? There's earrings. Earrings, a necklace, miscellaneous. What does that mean? I don't know what this is. A bracelet and a ring. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I can buy her one ring. Sure, one ring. That's 49. And a bracelet, maybe. A bracelet. Oh, this one looks pretty nice. So I don't see why not. This bracelet. Earrings. Hmm, earrings. Oh my god, this looks 
those are very nice earrings but uh, let me check oh this is just to indicate left and right oh these are like mini fans <laughs> that's funny so let's see i sure i guess i wanted to get this one this one and the other pair where is it there we go and the miscellaneous stuff like what is it I don't, oh, it's, it's a nose ring. No, I don't think so. I do not think so. That will be enough. So, let me check. Earrings, bracelets, and one ring. Sure, let's buy the jewelry now. Okay, so now she's happy. Good. And she wants to say no. Now let's buy a souvenir. I guess I want Daniel to buy a souvenir too because he deserves it. Let's see. I hope this, this doesn't crash my game. Ah, what did I do? Oh, so there's a doll on the memories and there's a pagoda by, the, by all the memories. So I guess he can have the pagoda. Architecture is a unique way to convey a country's culture, history, and style. Bring back this piece of art to tell its tales to all your friends. Next time someone asks you, asks you how your trip was, you'll show them this beautiful pagoda roof and they will need no more answers. So, okay. And then, this doll for Mary Sue. It says, memories are fleeting and it's hard to recall the less memorable moments of the trip. This doll, handmade by locals from 100% natural materials, will help you keep track of all that happened. How? When something interesting happens, just tell it to this doll and place it under your pillow at night. Your memories will come back to meet you in your dreams. Ooh. So, okay. Let's see. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. I know. Just wait for your turn. Let's see. Uh-huh. This is excellent. So what is Mary Sue doing? She's a mind uh, this little thing right here. So is there anything else that I want to do in this market? We already ate in here. She already checked uh, this thing right here. And I don't know what you're doing here. Do you perform some something in here? What is this? No, I don't know what it is. This is sculpture, and like a, like I said before, this is just a bathroom. Hmm. I guess we can buy more clothes for Mary Sue. Daniel needs new clothes, so I don't see why not. Let's buy new clothes for Daniel, and she can buy. Okay, I'll just I'll just wait for Daniel. So Daniel's gonna buy new clothes. Okay, I'm satisfied. So he bought new clothes. Do you, will you get to see them? Of course, but not this episode. Maybe later. And do, do I want Mary Sue to buy new clothes? Sure. Actually, let's buy her a new formal dress. I don't see why not. Okay, all set. Will you get to see it? And my answer to that is eventually. So I think we're all we are done here. I hope, unless something special might happen. I don't even know what you can do in here. Um, maybe we can meditate for a little bit. I don't see why not. How about you, Daniel? Let's meditate for a little bit because I just want to see how it works. Enough. Okay. I want to see this. Okay. I want to see this. Okay, she's meditating. Oh, that is nice. Very, very nice. And he's also meditating. Good. Is he gonna sit down? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, how about I take a good picture of this? Mm-hmm. Um... They're saying, um, ah, ah, ooh, oh, wow. Oh, Mary Sue is floating. Oh, this is, 
Wow, is it gonna float too? Oh, do you see this? She just disappeared. Is he gonna disappear too? Oh, there she is. Oh, guys, this is so trippy. I never seen this before. This is so trippy. Ah, Daniel, where are you gonna go? Oh, Daniel's right here. Oh my God. Is she, oh she disappeared now? Is she somewhere else? I don't know. I don't know. But I need to. I need. I need to make this stop. You can stop meditating. Oh, there she is. You can stop meditating now. You're all good. You're good. Oh, where did Daniel go? There he is. There's Daniel. Stop meditating. Hopefully, he stops meditating anytime soon. There we go. Oh my God, what is going on now? Okay, let's. See. What What does she want? She She wants to gesture. She wants to bow. <laughs> I guess. Uh-huh. Good. Okay. So I guess it's time to go back to the hotel. And since we only have one day left, and I'm pretty sure this is the entire day, we need to prepare. We need to go back, and we have to go to bed. Let Yeah, they're kind of tired. Is she tired? Well, not really, but she needs to take a shower, but he is so tired. And we're going to come back to the hotel. And we might need to start thinking about packing up. So I'll see you there in just a little bit. Okay, so we did go back on time, but that is okay. I let them, I let them chill around for a little bit until it was an appropriate time. So now they're about to go to bed. She's not that tired, but she's going to be okay. She's going to relax. And Daniel and Mary Sue are just going to talk about the day like, Wow, we met the wise old man. I learned how to teleport. We bought new clothes, we buy a souvenir, all those kind of stuff. And because they are rich, they don't have to worry about spending too much money on the trip. They only have five, five, um, 15,000 simoleons. 15,000, there we go. So they don't have to worry about it and they have good jobs. They can get all the money that is spent on the trip back. So it's all good. And Daniel is talking about money for some reason and good. he's gonna just cut up for her, with her for a little bit because why not they just have they are pretty well they're kind of tired well he's more tired than she is but they're going to just enjoy each other for a little bit because wow this in only one single weekend they were able to discover a couple things about about themselves Mary Sue realized that she is still very focused on work. Like, yes, she really wants to have a proper relationship with, with, the, with the entire family. But her insecurities and her desire to go further at the top of her career has been pretty dominating. And, there, and her argument with Daniel demonstrate that. And what we learn about Daniel is... He does not think with his head at all. He reminds me of Don in that way that they don't think. They they think with the other head in their bodies and they just let it guide them. Yeah, but let me be more fair to Daniel. Let me be more fair because I've been kind of mean to him. Daniel, despite his flaws, I can tell that he is going to be the best husband he can be and for that I give Daniel an applause and I also applaud them, applaud them for learning how to forgive each other fast and without any left when he left over wounds so Mary Sue Daniel I am so proud of you I'm so proud of you for getting into the strip and and yeah, like having a second honeymoon, basically. And they're just here talking and being so lovey-dovey with each other. And they're talking about the past, talking about how they 
met, how they fell in love with each other, all those kind of things. And also, um, they're kind of talking about their first honeymoon, how beautiful sunlight ties was, how young they were, how in love they were, and how in love they are still now. So it's all good. Very good. So here they are, and he's gonna kiss her for a little bit. I don't see why not, because he loves her so freaking much. But because he is Daniel, he's gonna go one step further. Good lord. So hopefully she won't reject him. I mean, she's a little hesitant, but um, she's not willing to reject him just yet. Because last time they were in that position, a fight ensued, and I'm pretty sure they stopped early just because Mary Sue told him to stop. She's saying, um, Daniel, after after a little argument last night, I just want to say that I'm, I really don't want to engage any woohoo with you just yet. Be because we had been having unprotected woohoo for the past for the past few weeks and I'm worried. I'm actually worried that maybe that maybe I am pregnant and I just don't know it yet. And I want to make sure before we do anything crazy. And Daniel what are you doing? Daniel is like, oh I completely understand Mary Sue. I respect that you want to take care of yourself and that's completely fine. And then and then and Mary Sue is like Thank you so much, Daniel. I appreciate that. And then he says, Oh, by the way, I am kind of tired, so hopefully we will be able to catch the art flight in the morning. And Mary's just like, Sure. Yes. I cannot wait to come back home and see our daughters and see Jennifer and see my parents. Hope that will be so good. And then it's like, Good night, Mary Sue. And Mary Sue says, Good night, Daniel. And I know this happens. Before I decide to skip just a little bit, I just want to do this for a little bit. I just want to take one good picture before I decide to do anything else. So, okay. Oh my god, so sweet. They're so sweet when they want to. So, let's see. And I'm going to take one good picture good picture of this oh I'm pretty sure they're gonna miss being in Takimisu village because this place is just amazing they met some amazing people in here they met the wise old man they met the, the foreigners well they are the foreigners but you know what I mean but yeah it's like they wish they can do this all over again without the arguments of course but look at them look at them <sighs> i'm so this makes me so happy so they're just gonna sleep for a little bit and i'll come back to them when it's time for them to go back home oh my god i wish they stay in here i really wish maybe they can purchase a vacation home eventually who knows, but um, I'll see you later when they are back in Pleasant View. And welcome back to Pleasant View. Takemisu Village was a lot of fun. Mary Sue and Daniel had fun. I had fun. But it was time to come back to the mundanity that is going to work and taking care of a family. Everyone is just kind of glad that everyone is safe. That th this trip was going up smoothly and that Jennifer was such a great help John was a great help everyone was a great help the girls were calm for at least a couple of days so it was it's all good and here they are hugging because it was they're just so happy that they're here it's time to just live their own lives and let's see what they want because I know that yeah they got a couple um tokens to for the trip and that's fine well let's see I know she wants expensive stuff she really wants to buy a massage table which is which is okay I understand what she does and typical Daniel he still wants to woohoo 
despite what Mary Sue said about taking a break until she can confirm that she is not pregnant. But does Daniel listen? Of course not. So they're just going to relax, sure, because it was a long flight. Well, it only took like maybe a couple hours of time, but today is going back to work, so they need the rest that they can possibly get. But Mary Sue is going back to sleep, and I didn't tell her to do that, so... Mary Sue, you were supposed to relax. There we go. Relax, because Daniel wants to talk to you. And what Daniel wants, Daniel gets. And that's unfortunately the way it is. So they're just talking about going back to the city. And just, you know, just regular talk about how long the flight was. You know, all those kind of things. And then Daniel decides to cuddle with her a little bit. And Mary Sue feels a little suspicious. But um, she's willing to continue this because she loves Daniel. And she really wants... A little bit of affection. And then Daniel says to kiss her for a little bit. And Mary Sue is like, oh, well, okay. But she stops him for a little bit. And she says, Daniel, remember what I told you? I want to make sure that I'm not pregnant first. And Daniel replies, oh, don't worry. I bought a couple condoms at the airport. And Mary Sue is like, oh, oh, really? Um, I, I guess I don't see... Why not? But it's 5 a.m. in the morning, Daniel. Are, are you sure about this? And Daniel says, I've never been so sure about anything in my entire life. But in all seriousness, Mary Sue, and they kiss for a little bit. But in all seriousness, I just want to let you know that whatever you're pregnant or not, I'll be by your side no matter what. I can even take you to the doctor just to confirm once and for all. I love you so much, Daniel. And I love you too. And they're just going to, you know, do the thing. And that's where I leave things off. I'm going to leave these lovebirds alone. So, finally I'm going to say these words. I'm going to end this episode right here. Leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe because I get subscriptions and... I'll see you on the next episode of my Pleasant View series. Bye-bye.